Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good day, and good night to you all. All being, I think, zero people because I didn't announce the stream, but guess what? That's probably a good thing because. Uh, today is a day. My lights are on. My lights are on. I look darker now just because I put in an extra light bulb and it has changed the lighting a lot. Oh, this one person. Hey! Hello! Yes, today is a day. 
Today is a day. Oh boy. I reckon what it is is that I'm just tired. Which is annoying. <laughs> I don't like being tired, but like I, wo I got woken up at 7. And then I didn't get great sleep from 7 on. And then I was doing like manual labor earlier. It's disgusting. But yes, it is World Ember time. Which is the good shit. And so I want to at least... Even if I can't stream for long, because I might call it fairly short, maybe, we'll see. Um, like, I want to work on stuff. I didn't get up at 7. I did not get up at 7. Um, I, I, okay, so I went to bed at like 4 in the morning, as I normally do. And then at 7 o'clock, lying in bed, dreaming, pondering the universe, as I usually do. And then just disgusting, just horrific construction noises from the front half of the house because we're uh, getting the floors redone and they decided that the best time to do it was seven in the morning and i'm like mm -hmm. okay cool 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 and so then that kept me up for at least an hour i would say of just trying to sleep and failing uh they finished at nine so i went back to sleep <laughs> and then i got up at about one in the in the afternoon <laughs> yeah, it makes sense. It makes sense that they would come at seven because they've been a bit um, unreliable up to now. Because uh, when we called the guy in the first time to check the floors, he cancelled once, let us know in advance, and then he didn't show up the second time. And so we had to go yell at his boss. And then the guy that he sent to replace that guy came late because he thought he was scheduled at a different time. So they've been a bit shaky so I, I guess if they come at seven first thing first possible appointment it just goes <laughs> and then they'll do the thing so they're trying to make up for the uh shakiness yes he did not show up the second time he just did not show he didn't tell us he didn't say anything and so we yelled at his boss and his boss said uh he didn't tell us any to tell, tell us either so uh we might have gotten a man fired i mean show up to work buddy you're getting paid. So, eh, oh well. But yes, World Ember, a thing that is happening. So I have already finished one article. I have finished an article already. Because while I was writing the nano novel over the course of November, I went, hey, this is an item in the story that it doesn't, it doesn't have an important role in the direct narrative? But it's important to the character. And so I went, hey, I'll actually write the article. Finally. I've mentioned these these concepts since like what, November 20 no, October 2018. So hey, well we should write about them. And so I wrote about inhibitors, which just stop you from casting magic or zap you if you cast certain types of magic. Yes. Okay, so. World Ember is a mini world building NaNoWriMo. That is the quickest pitch for for World Ember. It is essentially uh, try to we, we're challenging you to write 10,000 words of world building, and that can be anything. That can be writing about countries, characters, cultures, items, myths, the gods. You know, you can write about all of these things as long as you use World Ample to do it. <laughs> you gotta use World Ample. And so, I'm a... Am I a veteran by now? This is my third year of doing this. Am I a veteran? <laughs> so it's only 10,000, but there are some extra perks for doing more words, more than Nano gives. Because, like, I mean, you can do double Nano, but that's mostly for bragging rights. But there are some little bits of extra stuff for uh, for World Ember. You can try for a... where is the badges? Yeah. So there's a 25k badge and a 50k badge if you try and do World Ember Nano full on. There's, there's like badges. We love badges. For best article, body of work, words written, and the human of the match. Human of the match is just the coolest person who is just really helpful. And then there's also, uh, I'm in this, am I in the staff category? 
I think I'm in the staff category. I'm, what am I, I? I think I know I'm in the staff category. I'm a member of staff. Somehow, somehow they let me in. Um, so I'm a member of staff. So I am not actually eligible for these for these events. So I can't get the community's favorite article because I'm a moderator. Uh, but I can get the best, the, the like most favorited article amongst staff. <laughs> <laughs> Which I won't, but uh, it, it, I'm eligible for that. And then there's also um, prizes for categories, and the categories are just the article templates. So, like, the best building one. Oh, look at the badges. Oh, look at the badges. Oh, there's so many badges. I actually have one of these from 2019, because I had the best ritual, I think? <laughs> Tradition? I had the best tradition article, because I wrote about a calendar. Because I went, hey, calendar's pretty neat, I think. I think calendars are cool. So I wrote, <laughs> I wrote a calendar. Right. So it's not a, it's not a, a vote per se. The way you vote is you like their article. You scroll down to the bottom and you hit that, that sweet, sweet, uh, you can't see it on this article. Shit. <laughs> oh no. Hold on, I need to open a random article. Give me. Give it to me. Let's just open this one. I don't know what this is. I haven't seen it. You just, you, just, you just scroll all the way down and you go, hey, hit the like button. I won't hit like on this article because I haven't read it. Uh, but that's the idea. Just hit the like button. And that is a vote. And currently I am, I think, the, the most liked item. But that's because there are no other item articles. Like, I'm just it. <laughs> Which is just great. I'm a fan of just being the only one who wrote about an, an item. Because I think the way it normally goes, item formation and language tend to be fairly small categories, and material as well. And profession. <laughs> I'd have to check, but like, you know, there are, there are uh, templates that just do not get many entries. Like spell and ability. Not a very common uh, template used. I don't use it. Like, I just don't use spell and ability templates. So, eh. <laughs> you know, eh. But, so I have one article done. That's the inhibitors. I think they're neat. I'd like to do art for them. And I would have done it today. But A, I was writing it. And B, <laughs> I'll do it some other day. <laughs> I'll do it on a different day. I'll find time. And so, it is a matter of picking another article to do. And so when I did... So they had, like, homework. Homework. Uh, they had World, Am World Amber homework for article, like, to just, like, help prepare you. You didn't have to do it, but I, I did it. I did, I, I did one of them. I did one of the four homeworks. Uh, <laughs> I did the first one. And then I got swept up in Nano, just super hard. So I didn't do any of the other ones. But I have the pledge. And the pledge was basically just, hey, here are my goals. I would like to complete World Ember, and I want to write 25,000 words. Now, I don't know if I will, but I I, I feel like I probably will. Because it's only like 800 a day, and I'm like, I, I wrote 5k at least one day in November. So, like, I can do it. That's easy. <laughs> it's like, eh, it's fine. And so the other part of that was you were supposed to make like a list of articles you wanted to work on. And I went ham. And I made five funky tables of articles to write about. <laughs> so I have an entire table of countries because I have an entire continent in which I have written less than half of the countries technically, to the point where some of them do not have names. So, uh, oops. <laughs> Haven't done that. I have a character table for characters. Most of these are from the nano novel or like are tangentially related to the nano novel. Like, uh, Duchess Larian doesn't show up, but she is like over there. She, she's doing her own thing. She's the one doing the funky shit. 
I mean, they're all doing funky shit, but like she's she's doing the the big funk off to the the side over there. And then there's just some other things like leaders of countries, uh, people of historical importance, a dragon, uh, a couple of gods are in here. Uh, a fun secret for me, which I don't actually know if I'll write about her just because she's technically a spoiler, but also, uh, spoilers, who cares? Uh, people who don't have names, but who I'd like to write about? Um, <laughs> yay! There's just, there's just a lot of them. There's a lot of people. And then there's location, where I put, like, buildings and geographical stuff and... Uh, what's the other type? Settlements. Cities and stuff. And so like, I've got like, a royal palace, which I probably won't write about, but it's there. And like, volcanoes, and capitals, and a city carved into a mountain, which I haven't named, but it's there. Uh, just big ol' mountain boy. Then there's the assorted table, <laughs> which is just a bunch of stuff I didn't know where to put. Like, about a lost civilization, that's in there. Uh, some cool material stuff, some ethnicities. Um, just a, 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 a catch-all for any of the wars. There are a lot. Some of them I don't think I can write about for World Em just because they're too long. They're just too damn long. I learned this in Summer Camp 2019. Some wars are just too damn long. Like there's a there's a 4K long article on my in my world somewhere. And it's a nightmare. And it shouldn't exist, but it's there. So you know, oops. And then you're like humans and stuff. And then there's a the table for the other world that I'm working on, because I needed to put it somewhere. Uh <laughs> it needed to be somewhere, so I just put it here. And I don't have answers for most of those, so oopsie daisies. Yeah, I think I think it was 4K. I'd have to check. I can check. The font seems to have changed. Stop changing the font. Ah, God, he made the change. <laughs> ah, Dimitri, <laughs> Dimitri, you made the change. Just, I'm, I'm just. Dream Dimmy, Dimmy. Ah, oh, God, Dimitri made the change. Okay. Um, so I'm looking for the succession. Yes, so the War of Vosti Succession is a 3,819 word long article about some War of the Roses-esque shenanigans. And I'm like, oh boy. <laughs> and so that was for summer camp last year, and that was just, oh boy. It's not my longest article though, which is terrifying. I think my longest is... Uh... I do know, don't I? Largest articles. Here we go. Largest articles. The largest one is one that's nearly 5,000 words long, but in my defense, in defense of the 5k long article, which I wrote for World Ember last year and which took me like three weeks on its own, interspersed with other articles. Um, in defense of the diaries of the Diladun fleet, um, at least a thousand, possibly two thousand of those words are actual prose. And you don't see them. Well, you do see them, but they're like hidden. Because <laughs> they're in the document. So there's a document template where I've got like the history of some shit, I've got people, and then I've got the entire document, which I wrote. Which is long. So it's 5k, but that's... Also, it's because her name is very long. This is like 15 words on its own. <laughs> it's just her listing her title at the end. Or one of the people listing her title at the end. Though she does shorten her name a bit as well. It's shenanigans, really. <laughs> just total shenanigans. And yes, I liked the art for the people too. I was happy about it. This is probably the article I put the most effort into, Last World Emperor. Which is why it was really funny that the article I made the first day of World Ember was the one that, that won that one a badge. 
<laughs> which was the calendar one. I made that in the first day because I was like, I need a calendar to write about this whole area. Here it is. And then I had to fix it halfway through because the math was wrong. And I was like, well. And then I put effort into this one. And you know, I still like it. I stand by this article. It's 5,000 words long, but I stand by it. So, <laughs> articles. It's great. So we're not gonna, I, I want to avoid doing 5k long articles. I'd probably want to avoid even 2,000 words, but I I have an entire table for countries, so the odds are, are not in my favor on that. So, the matter is to pick an article to work on, which I have, and I need to do that, which is, I think I have to They're all to me. All these dice sets are really mean to me. But, so I want to work in TU Amara, which is the world this article is on. I do have that fifth table, which is for the other world that I'm working in, but I think to start, I want to work in this world. And so, there are four tables, so I'm going to roll a d4. Yeah. Alright, see you, p 2 I'll see you when you return. And I will figure out what article I'll be working on for those 20 minutes. God, it's not... He's back. Look at this. Look at this. I don't even know if that comes up well. It totally doesn't. They look so cool. So shiny. These are my one of my shiny guys, and they're all equally me. Uh, I have very, very bad luck with dice. So okay, here we go. One, one, two, three, four. Four. So table four is the assorted table, which is also the smallest table because it is just a collection of random articles. Now I did remove. The inhibitors from this, the inhibitor was actually down here. Uh, it was the 14th entry, and I removed inhibitors. So I've already done one off this one, actually. But, um, okay, hold on. Right? Do I really feel like any of these right now? We'll see when it rolls. Um, uh, no. <laughs> also, no. Not really. No, I think I'm feeling this one. We're all again. That's a two. Okay, character one then. Let's see if we can find an interesting character to write about. I think there's like... Uh... 30? Hold on. We've moved things. Hold on. Things have been relocated. Uh... <laughs> Timmy, pu Timmy pushed a, a sidebar change while I'm streaming. So I'm attempting to figure out where it goes. Okay, so tables are in here. Okay. Excellent. Uh, how many are in the character table? 30 flat. Nice. Very nice. Okay. Eh. 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 Okay. Awesome. I'm figuring it out. <laughs> it's not like I've used this site for three years. I feel like I should know my way around by now. Oh god, it's my three year. God. Well, I've been here for three years on in February. Ooh. That's a hell of a Valentine's Day present. Okay, let's see which character it sends me off to write about. 27 is a character I haven't named. Of a country that I have not written about. That's awkward. Is that even how you spell governor? <laughs> Am I out? Is that how you spell the word governor? <laughs> I think so. I assume it's correct. I don't know. I, I give up at that point. Um, do I want to write about the Do I want to write about the governor of Zunatu and Kuri? What did I? I said it's a gover It's a governor question mark in North Central. Hates he cool dust. It doesn't really tell me much, it just tells me that you're a governor. Which I think is actually called a governorate. Governorate? Oh. <laughs> okay, I think we might have to leave the governor until we've actually written about the country of which they are the governor. So we'll re-roll, because some of these I can... I can... I can... I can figure out. Okay, alright. Eliane Lattice. 
the Countess of Wardus and the uh, the, the the Duchess of of Shonyo. I don't know what the Latin is for, for by right of her husband. It's not jury exterus, is it? <laughs> Can I be fancy? Oops, is it, yeah, that's, that's that's the by right of his wife. No, I want the other one. <laughs> <laughs> what's the <laughs> what's the other one? Jury matres? No, y'all. It's not hard. <laughs> yeah, I want to know. I want to know the phrasing. No, no. I wanted the whatever. There's no fancy Latin for it, it's just the nature of things. She's the Duchess of- she's the Countess of Wardus and the Duchess of Chagnol through her marriage to the Duke, who is an asshole. And I've written about the Duke. Where is he hidden? Where is he hidden? Intera, my buddy. My dude. Senor asshole. Uh, is this article updated? No. This article isn't updated. That isn't because that stops dead in 414, but the setting has been advanced by 11 years to 425, which means it's missing his like stroke. Which, to be fair, it's like one extra paragraph, but it's missing that. And also the fact that he had a falling out with his daughter. Which is pr probably another paragraph on its own, just for uh, how we say reasons. Shenanigans ensue. A lot, a lot of things happen. And this is a really old article too. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. I haven't updated that since June last year. Uh oh. That's fine. This is all still basically correct. Like, I haven't changed any facts about this dude. I would just change how the whole article is, like, formatted more than anything else. Um... So that's, that's normal. Yeah, so that's all correct. That's all good. And so then, Elyon, would her article talk about the thing? I don't know. Let's figure that out. Does she have an article yet? Why does the fun keep changing? Why is the font different? I'm not, like... No one's here to tell me. The font's changed on this page, right? Why? Like, that's a different font. Uh... Is that deliberate? I don't know why. Why would it be... Um... Why did it say go? Why is it Sego? Why is all of it Sego? Segoi? Sego? Uh, <laughs> ah. I don't know. I don't know. I'm just looking at stats now, which are useless because I don't write enough. Um, I'm not like confused, am I? Sorry, I'm checking the Discord. <laughs> I'm just, like, wait, <laughs> the font definitely changed. Wah. Give me. Oh, it's fine. I'll. If it still looks like that at the end, I'll I'll ask what's up with that. I don't usually use a dashboard that much anyway, which is why my stats don't update very much, because I don't touch it. <laughs> I don't go there. Okay, let's find. Have I written an article about Elyon? Ah, I do have a stub for her. Excellent. Now remember, you gotta reset the date. Yeah, I'm just mom. Intro's wife. All around complex character. Sure. Uh, special actions reset date. Boom. Alright. You got it. Alright, she has been reset. Now I need the facts, which I can find. Hold on, I'm just gonna... Just pull that out, find the thing, bring it back. Family trees... 
vasty family improved. Yeet. Okay, she's in here somewhere. I made this in like 2018 too. Like this was either made in December or in January 2019. So it's very old. Like I've updated it a couple times because something was wrong. Or I was changing people's names. But it's basically... It's old. I think that's still technically incorrect. But she's here. So she's this lady here. For whom I have not traced ancestry because I don't care. Uh, I don't care enough to figure that out, to be honest. So, 368 is the issue's born. 368. Uh, the preview page. Well, the view page. I know you can, like, do the preview, but I like just using actual view. It just feels better. It shows me what it actually looks like in the article. So she's there. She needs the... Well, she's gonna be a World Ember article. She'll have the... the 20 uh, tag. She's human. She... I don't usually answer these particular questions. She is Vosti. And, I mean, she's not dead yet. You know, God willing, she's not dead yet. Um, and I don't really have a full name for her, I don't think. It doesn't really matter, because she's, you know, normal. Sta standard stuff. Then there's the rest of it. And I don't, use, I don't use these spots, but that's fine. I can't read what that says. Oh, that's what it says. Oh, why is my phone so mean? There it goes. Okay. Thank you for the, the, the resub, up to you know, Bob, and good morning! Good morning! If you are there, hello, good morning! <laughs> Thank you very much. I, I don't have, so I couldn't see if it actually shows up very well. Oh, oh god. <laughs> Angles. Angles. They don't show very well. <laughs> My hands are not flexible. Okay, so I don't usually use these, and she just knows Vostan, doesn't she? So there's not really any point in filling that out? Oh, yeah! <laughs> uh, I haven't changed that yet. Listen, in my defense, I've been doing World Ember since I woke up. <laughs> Except for all the times when I wasn't. But I was mostly doing World Ember since I woke up. I'll have to remember to update that probably before I go to bed. Like maybe that's what I'll do, is like after the stream ends, like after I raid you, I'll fix my overlay and I'll replace it with, um... Ooh, I know what badge I'll replace it with. I know exactly what badge to replace that one with. Yes! Ah. Ooh, yeah. I know what to put on that. I know what to put in that spot. It's all good. I'll get to that. Oh, I usually feel like this, because I usually use gender identity section. Uh, well, I... Yeah, I do. Use that section. Um, I know there's some other bit in here that I actually do use. I don't use those. <laughs> I proved her pictures. I have a picture of her. <gasps> Where is she? Where is the thing about portrait? Where is it? It's up here, isn't it? Yes. I actually have a picture of her. Which I probably need to redraw, but I actually do have a picture of her. <laughs> Thank God. <laughs> Oh yeah. <laughs> this is preparation. This is- I pretend like I planned that all along. I didn't. I didn't roll the dice. Dice rolled me. Uh, I think it's in... Nope, not in there. Yes, the World Ember logo is available, you're right. I might put that there. I did have another idea for what to put there, because I didn't want to use the overlay, because I do like my overlay, and I figured I should just keep the same one, but tweak it. But I'll, uh, I'll look into it after the stream, and I'll uh, make the changes necessary to be fancy. Oh, uh, here we go. Uh, affiliates... Mmm. Which one would that count as? Which is her primary one? Uh... Because otherwise she'll be listed under here, won't she? Oh, God. Uh, Booey. Oop, there's too many articles open. Help! Um, why is that one too? Okay, 
So she's... I would say Frosty Empire is her extended. And there's a lot of... Oh boy. Maybe I'll just put them all in a... in a... a phrase key. Maybe you put them in a phrase key. Um... Just because it's easier? Well, it's not easier, but it's like... Mm, more customizable. So that's uh, primary... Oop. Gamity. Organization. And that is Medora. And it is La Medora. And then... Primary organization is... Bossy Empire. Which does look weird, but as much as because she's like... It needs to be like that. It's like other associated? Other affiliations. Uh, okay. So, aligned organization. Oh, goddammit. And other affiliations. I think that works. Ooh. Yes. Tentative yes. I will look into it. I think I can do that. I've forgotten what the Photoshop file looks like. So I actually don't remember what bits I have things in. But I think so. So other affiliations. Okay. But I should be able to do that. I'm pretty sure it's in sections that would allow me to do that. My only boring would be that it would affect the, uh, the chat window. But, uh, we'll see. I think I can separate those. Maybe? <laughs> we'll see. I'll, I'll make something work. I'll really go to town on that, uh, Photoshop file. Uh, what else was I doing? Uh, not in here. Not in that one. Um... Place of birth, not really relevant. Titles. Here we go. Titles. She is Countess of Wadis. She is... Have I... I did give Brandion a title, didn't I? He has a subsidiary title, right? Well, let's just, let's just copy these two. And then edit them for... Uh, Duchess of Chagnon. Nas a uh, Marchioness. Of Zenzon. But that's her primary title, because it's her actual title. Um, I'm pretty sure I. Oops, that's not how you spell his name. I'm like 80% sure I gave him a title. Why is Brandy unlisted here? Oh, right. <laughs> I don't remember my own articles. I spelled his name correctly, you let me in. Okay, he's in here. Of course he's in here. But, like, is it... Helpful? Lord? Anyways, yeah, so he's not given a title here. I'm, like, 80% sure that she has a barony. And I might know where that's listed. I think I know where that's listed. I'll check the final spot that he's listed in. Which is here. I don't remember doing that. Uh, oh, he's listed there. Oh god. But he's all correct. <laughs> I don't know. I leave that. I leave that one. Um, where did I put it? It's there's a titles thing here, isn't there? Mm, nope, that's a mapping thing that I didn't finish. There are a lot of things in here. Uh, noble titles, here it is. Here we go. Okay. So then if I do... Okay, so he's not listed, but is she? She's listed here. And... He... Oh, she's listed in two spots. Yes! Ashlanis. Woo! Who did out. Thank you, me, from... 
June the 1st of this year? When th what change did I make in that? Oh. Wait, what? Oh, I added a bit about shenanigans. Yes, I remember shenanigans. Well, June the 1st of 2020. Of Ash Lenny's. Boom. Okay. I think that's all the ones that I fill out here, though. Right? I think so. I think the rest I fill out in the, um... The whole thing. But I put her titles in there. They're nobility. You gotta put the titles in there. You guys go wild. Possibly I would put a... What's it? I do intro. And you pull tool tip that. Yeah. Because that way you know it's not her titles, it's like a, a marriage thing. You get to be a dowager duke, duchess if he dies, which he will, but like. Eh, eh, eh. <laughs> no, eh. <laughs> Eventually, who knows? I don't. I totally don't. <clears throat> I know nothing. I know nothing about this. It is all a mystery. Oh boy. Alright. Okay, so. I guess we start with the basics, which is corn 368. 368. 368. I'll just put it all up in the northwest of the empire. Oh, northeast, sorry. I. Oh boy. What you caused in? The area was dating slash engaged to Brastion. Uh, so that's Baron Brastion. Doon, but abruptly terminated the engagement to marry Duke Pintero in what year was that? Had him open, ready to go. There he is. <laughs> the best part of World Ember is that it means I have to reread all my stuff. Did I say best? I meant worst. So that's late 391. Son by him early 92 Brandon, who was almost certainly actually Brastion's son for reasons. Oops. <laughs> um. Uh, what else has been written about her? Hold on, I think I know a better place to go. Pop in here. Oh, God, what? I'm gonna have to report that the font's weird on this page. I don't know why it's like that. Why? <laughs> why do you do this to me? Oh God, she listed a lot of articles. Wow. Uh, she said here because she was dating him. The <laughs> uh, well, that's the article that I'm working on. <laughs> um. Oh, that's a, technically a spoiler. Oops. <laughs> oh god. Oh, this isn't gonna load very well, is it? When does Elion show up in this article? Oh. Ah, oh, the other one. <laughs> the other Elion. <sighs> My god. Come on. Uh oh. I knew this was a bad idea. We don't open the Inktober article. We just don't do it. Pro tip, don't go seeking out my Inktober articles. It's not good. <clears throat> not like the art's bad, it's just that it doesn't load. <laughs> it is a, uh, oh god, it's not letting me out. Help. No, I gotta refresh. <laughs> Let me out. <laughs> oh no. Here we go. So she's in the Muna article, which I have written. 
So she's mentioned here. She is. That's it. It's really her only mention, isn't it? Yeah, okay, so she's just, like, you know, mentioned. Um, why are you mentioned here? Hey, when did you get mentioned here? Oh, discussion between Ellie and Wardus and Zillion. Okay. Ah, yes, I remember that. <laughs> totally. Uh, oh, that's, that is mentioned there. Um... Eldest, that's his sister, their sister, and she's in here because she's mentioned mostly here. Because she's not really doing anything, I don't think. Shenanigans. Shenanigans occur. And she's mentioned here? Uh, yes, yes. Mentioned there. Because of shenanigans. It's all shenanigans. No, nobility is just shenanigans all the way down. Really. It, it's how I would describe that. And this is an old chart, so... <laughs> shenanigans. Um, join the... Liberty... Liberty Alliance in... I don't know, like... 420-ish. Just before. When was the raid? It was the raid. The raid was in 417. I'll say after 417. After 417. Uh, it's currently the treasurer. For the Madoran government. Though it's officially, as far as the Empire is concerned, she is staying in the southwest with her step son. Son? Vizav. <laughs> that's basically all that happens in her life. <laughs> I mean, I guess there is, um, BF dies in 392, that's Brasion. Sun dies, well, actually, no, he just disappears in 410, oh shit. And that's really it, though, isn't it? And basically the only thing she's been involved in, well, like, like, associated with? Even though she's married to a man who has definitely gotten more people than that killed. Those are the two that are relevant, I think. Maybe how I would describe that for her. Oh god. Um There's not anything else, is there? I guess it's like when do her parents die? Which I haven't mentioned. And the reason I haven't mentioned it is that I don't actually know. That is not something I'm actually aware of. Like, obviously I can make it up, but I don't actually have that listed anywhere, I don't think. At least when the Count died. Or whoever was before her in the county. Because she's been a Countess for a while, I would think. Because when he remarried in 391, she was already a countess. That wasn't a new thing. I'm in the wrong page. Oh my god, the Sunni pages. So she was what, like 23? That's pretty young, actually. Who died? <laughs> Elion, who died? Because some of these are fairly close, some of them aren't as much in terms of like age. I think this is some other lady. Because you're not related to anyone in this chart somehow. Somehow. We know that's not true, but like, apparently you're not related to anyone here. Which, you, you know, like, directly? No. 
beyond the scope of the chart, absolutely. I think. I don't think I've missed. I haven't missed. I didn't put a word elsewhere, did I? I don't know. Not really important. Um. So it, whoever was the count, this the countess before she became countess. It died in at least like 390. Or very young. Which would possibly explain the Dovaldoon thing. I mean, she has two parents, but still. Like, whatever, right? Um. Because I'm pretty sure she doesn't have any siblings. I say all this like I don't know, because I don't know. I say all this like I can't just make it up, which I can. But I'm trying to think of like if I've mentioned anything. Because I don't think I have. I can't think of any specific reference to like siblings or anything. Like I don't think... I don't think Brandon had any like aunts or uncles on that side. Versus like the Sean Yule side on which she had a couple. But, like, biologically, I don't think he had any aunts or uncles. I think both of his parents were single children. <laughs> I think. I would say yes. So, maybe. No siblings. Count. Died. Pre 390. Likely before. She and Brassoon started dating. Other parents still alive at time of marriage. Probably convinced her to do it. Yeehaw. Um. This is why I didn't read my notes. <laughs> it's not a. <laughs> oh boy. Um. What's that? Shh. What else would there be? You can just pick one. It can just be normal. People are allowed to die of just natural causes. In this economy? Yes. I'm pretty sure, yes. <laughs> I don't think there was any, like, big death time in the, the 80s. In the 60s? Yeah, but that's a different thing. Which I think I only killed like two people on this job. Killed like you. No, it was 50. When was the plague? When was the plague? Oh god. 360s. I'm positive that was the plague. That's like, uh, most of just like him, right? Eh. Eh. Could also be reflected to that. You can just tie that together. Say the the Baroness and the previous Counts died at the same time because they'd be similar ages. Because like these two are the same age, and they're only children, so they're probably like their parents would be very close in age. In like probably, like, they could be older, not by much. I wouldn't say they'd probably be like in the the mid late three forties. Does that make sense? Because, like, what in here? That's a. Wait, how old are you? That would make you. in 368. That makes you. 19. That's probably a bit young. So, no ability, that's probably a bit young. <laughs> Possibly. Considering. Oh, your, your parents are really young, too. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. None of that shit. Oh god, I, I don't look at this chart in detail very often, so I'm just like, ah! <laughs> None of this is good. <laughs> These are all bad numbers. Tw 20, 20, 20. And then that's a 21. Congratulations, Moon, you broke the chain. That's like a 23, so. Mm. Um. So. I'd say 386. Just time together. Say died 
386. I'm gonna push it for dating. My parents spent a lot of time married, but who's gonna do it? So if you died in like 86 ish, probably born in like the late, mid, mid, the mid, mid 40s. So you're what, like 40? When this happened? And you would be what, like. I feel like 45. 45 minus 345 is 80. Oh, you're old. I don't think anyone that old is still alive on this job. Like, I think he's dead. I don't know. He's not listed on any other chart. Like, Lappin is only listed on this chart. Same, like, they're only listed on the one chart. Because they're not important. But... Well, they are important, but, like, not important, important. Um... I've immediately lost track of what I was going for. Old people. Uh, Kiani's also dead at that point. Princess Kiani has also... De is deceased at that stage. And there are a couple of people in this generation who are dead as well. But I think, like, that 40s gen is all dead by that point. Like, he, he, this guy's ancient. I think he's dead. And I think even his, like, eldest is probably dead. Because 58 is pretty, pretty recent. Like, what? That is 358. That's 67. Oh, never mind. I'm not too old. Well, I guess it is decently old. I have no idea what I'm, what I'm doing. <laughs> I don't know any of this. I can technically find out. This is why you just, just don't do family charts, kids. It doesn't go well. You, you're still alive? Holy shit, I am. That's an old man. That is a, a man of age. Stop it. I'm trying to click and drag. So he's 51. Go to the actual page, please. Come on. Uh, 58, so that person's still alive. 56, still alive. Okay. 51's still in the lead, though. Then you get this one, which is, I think, the last one of that. No, there's still one more. Um, yes, the Princess of the Dance, 63. Is the most recent there. Oh no, 61. Oh, technically. 58? Technically. But like the 40s aren't. So I think the 40s are out. I think this one? Yeah, and there's no 40s here. They're all uh, long out. So 40s probably out, I'd say. They're probably dead now. Probably. <laughs> Statistically speaking, uh, probably dead now. An ability is hard. Alright. Let's say like, is dead now. Uh. <laughs> 45. Both dead. Both. I would say probably like 415-ish. Uh, 1, 3, 8, 6, 1, like, 417. Pretty rough, but like, you, you'd, you'd make do. Because that's already like, what, 70? 72? That's pretty goddamn old. Not the oldest person on the chart, but pretty old. Like, total. <laughs> In terms of like, overall age. I would say that is pretty old. So that would be it. Which means they live to see their grandson disappear. That's rough. <laughs> this is only tangentially relevant to this character, but I you know her her parents dying are important. It's important character wise, right? Maybe move that back to like three four sixteen. Wait, when did Kiani go away? Oh god damn it. Uh, where are you? You're listed here? 
Uh, ooh, that could basically be any time, isn't it? When did you leave? When did you go away? <laughs> when did you go? Oh, God. Why is there a Kiani listed in infused silk? The hell is a Kiani doing in infused silk? Oh, it's you. Oh. God damn it, why is it always the wrong Kiani? No, that is the right Kiani. That's the correct Kiani. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> oh, I keep track of these characters well enough. That's the correct Kiani, but that doesn't tell me anything about when she left. Uh, is she in here? I think so. Oh, she's only listed. Damn it! Ooh. Take my life hard. Why is Kiani listed in here? What are you doing in here? What? Hello? Why are you listed in this article? Uh, I don't remember her being in here. Is a Kiani in this article? <laughs> I, I can't read. Um, oh! <laughs> it's the wrong Kiani! Oh my god. Why do you do this to me? Let me just go to... I can find this information. Because I've listed it somewhere. In the in the notes discord. That is... Updated. Um... No... That's also technically outdated. I have no idea. Oh god, I, I definitely listed it somewhere. It was like 419 or something. When did you, when did you do it? <laughs> no, it's 418. 418, I think. What's happening? Hmm. Yeah, I'll say 418. Yeah. 418. Great. Why are we listing this? <laughs> I've got. F <laughs> I've gone full fog brain. Uh. Close to Muna. Eldest. Stepdaughter. And Kiani. Younger. <laughs> Stepdaughter. Kiani left in 418 with Leon's blessing on the down low though. Which is possibly not true, but hey, it's 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 there, you know? It's fine. That's 200 words of notes, but it's all like useless. <laughs> it's useful, but it's it's a mess. Just a little bit. Just a little bit of a mess. Overall. Uh. Ah, <laughs> oh, jeez. What? There you go. Sorry. There we go. Okay. So. Article actually writing time. I don't remember why I was looking up Kiani. I, I genuinely don't. Why do I do this? Okay, so we start with a quote, but I don't have... I don't think I do have a quote. Technically. If I open the manuscript, I have quotes. Which, I mean, yes. Where, where, where would I find this? How do I find these things? Where do you do the thing? It's like there. That's a whole little, oh god. Oh no, it's not the whole thing. Oh, help. No. Where do you... That's not the right one. No, I'm looking for Elyon. Which is mostly not going to be helpful, actually. That's actually really unhelpful. What is happening here? What? Why are you out of order? Everything is in order for a reason. You know, whatever. It's fine. We won't take... 
We won't take a direct quote <laughs> from the manuscript. We'll figure something out. Okay. Confess. Elion of Quadis is what? I don't know. Ugh. Oh, brain. Ah, Raiders! Welcome, Raiders! Stay true! Have you had a lovely time with Siobhan? I believe you were doing like a, uh, like a nano celebration fun time? I wasn't there because I forgot. <laughs> I spaced out. I completely spaced out and didn't end up going. And I was like, damn it! You fool! <laughs> <laughs> yes, stay true. So, welcome. Ah! God damn it. My message is too big. So, welcome DM Stretch, Tillers, Makara, Siobhan, Dazzly. Yes. And it was fun. Excellent. Running math for a second. You need to have your Turk people use nearby lands, additional farmlands. Oh god. Oops. <laughs> for the horde. Oops. Stay true. Oh, that reminds me. I forgot to turn the points off. <laughs> I forgot to turn the points off. Oopsie daisies. Turn the points off. Please don't don't play the preview. I just want to turn the points off while I'm here. While I'm in the area. So turn the points off. Because <laughs> now I can turn off the undead horde and the house ones. I can turn back on the sprint points. Boom. We got it. Alright, it's good. <laughs> it's a lot of space to there is a lot of spaced out going on today. I didn't get a great amount of sleep because they've been doing construction and they started at 7 in the morning and I went to bed at 4 a.m. So that didn't go well. Um, <laughs> I went back to sleep afterwards, but still. So, um... Brain just push. Interpret that would be at best 30 square kilometers between 2k people. Might just keep them at size 3k additional farms. Ah, nice. And hello, Natalia. Welcome. You're you're bringing the horde energy to my innocent penguin stream. But of course, I, I'm keeping the game of Chance spirit alive by forgetting to uh, get rid of my thing. I missed the puppers. No. Ah, oh, damn it. <laughs> I forgot about the puppers. Oh no. Oh, I'm devastated. Damn it. I'm a fool. I was too busy playing Minecraft. I forgot about puppies. This is devastating. Ah, well. I can look at the board and I can look at the puppies. Look at the puppies. Yeah, exactly. I'll watch the board and I'll look at the puppies. But yes, yeah, so how is everyone else's uh, World Ember going so far? If if you are uh, a part, uh, doing, doing World Ember. How is everyone's World Ember going so far? Because I have spent the stream so far making bad notes. Which is all of this. <laughs> because I thought every article would just word vomit and then I rewrite it better. <laughs> Afterwards. Not doing World Ember, I need a break. <laughs> that is completely fair. Like, I, I want to do World Ember, and I think, like, as soon as I hit 25, because I'm aiming for 25k, not 10k. Once I hit 25k, and finish the article that that will be the final one of, I am gonna just disappear. <laughs> I'm just gonna poof out. <laughs> like, you're just not gonna see me for a month. I lie. I'll just switch to doing, like, art or something. I'll, uh, I'll re- I'll unwind by doing other things. Like, because I haven't done a whole lot of art since, like, the second week of Nana, so I will, you know, do all that. Into relaxing. Hell yeah. You now turn into massive world ember prep, so you're psyched. Hell yeah. Because you have a lot you need to write, whereas I'm just going around like... I go wherever the, uh, wherever the rolly dice take me. Oh, because you're not going to start until your stream, are you, Bob? <sighs> I can't imagine that. I couldn't wait. I couldn't wait to start. So I, I did write an article this afternoon, which was the inhibitors article, which I do not have open currently because I'm not clever. I don't have the inhibitors article open. But like I wrote 
and submitted the article about the, the funky bracelets that stop magic or zap you if you use magic. It's explained in the article. Uh, <laughs> it's explained in the article. Um, so I wrote that for 851 words, I believe, thereabouts. So I uh, did that because I just wanted to write about it. I didn't roll a dice for this one, I just wrote it. Uh, I'm currently working on the second article, which is a character article, which I did roll for. I used a d4 to select which table to go from. Even though I have five tables on the pledge page that I did, I only picked from the TU Amara ones, because I wasn't like... I wanted to start with TU Amara and then later in the month, if I'm like burning out a little bit, go over to Uthramoch to just go in. And so yeah, I rolled a dice and then I rolled in the table and got this character who is in the nano novel, which is good. 450 towards World Emperor already. You take a day off before I'm gonna edit. Nice. Gonna do some work for your session too. Laters. And see you, Dazzly. Thank you for stopping by. And she wants to take a break until your mind can focus on world building. Just had to work on it during my stream, but your mind is not blank. That is completely fair. That is completely fair. I think the only reason I'm remotely able to world build brain is because I kinda didn't write a whole lot during the last five days. Like once I hit 65, it just kinda stopped. <laughs> so uh, the undead will probably win. Uh, <laughs> probably. <laughs> Not that I'm the only person in the non-undead, but I'm just saying. <laughs> it's rough. My road count was not great for the last uh, last week of Nano, basically. Like, I tried, but, you know, a lot's been happening, so I just like, eh. Oosh. God damn it, Moth. Oh, well. It happens, you know? You gotta, you gotta pace yourself. You can't just, like, can't force it, because otherwise it just feels bad. It just feels bad to do. Alright, oop, oh, damn it. You can just. Got about 114k for the month of November. God damn. That's a lot. That is just a lot of words. Like, that is just too many words. Frankly. <laughs> I think that's just too many. <laughs> but, you know. Word you're proud of. Word you didn't have before. It's excellent. And we all, we all wrote as, as much as we were able. And you know, it's all words we didn't have before and it's all good. And I think the same way about World Ember. You know, I'm gonna try and finish articles that I like, want to do and like, need. You know, just get some stuff done. And like, if I didn't, if I don't get too many, it's fine. It's articles I didn't have before that I hadn't finished. It's great. Progress is a KN? Hell yeah. I was aiming for 60 and then I got past it and went, okay, 65. Hit 65 and I was like, that's good. 65 is a good end point. The novel's not finished, but 65, pretty good. <laughs> pretty, pretty neat. And I've committed to trying to do like 10 to 30 minutes a day on it, just to keep the momentum going on the story so I can try and finish it. Cause it'll take a while. So I'm like, eh, hey, it's great. <laughs> and if I novel to you, I went, this is gonna be great. Oh no, you're down, I'm shutting down. <laughs> uh, yeah. No, you're not allowed to write. Stop it. But I'm gonna write. <laughs> and goes, no. If you write, it is agony. I'm like, oh. Boo. Which is not fun. So, like, taking a break is a good idea. Like, if, if I... If I hadn't had Game of Tones to keep motivating me to try and get just, like, 500 words-ish each day after I hit 50 or so, I probably would have taken a week off to like play video games. Or I would have tried to. <laughs> and I already play a lot of Minecraft, so you can imagine what that's like. Uh, <laughs> I had the keep phone down by now. Oh well. You know, I'll find a, a day to just. Oh, what the hell? I'm all this from the tree. Oh, god damn it. Oh, yeah, I didn't show everyone my shirt. I have the World Ember shirt from last year. <laughs> I didn't I didn't buy the um the 2021, but I have the 2019 World Ember shirt. 
I'm pretty sure I got this as a prize. <laughs> I don't believe I bought this one. Uh, <laughs> I don't think I've bought any of the World Ambush shirts, Ambush shirts that I own. I think they were all, like, given to me as prizes <laughs> for something. So I have three of them. But I have the World Ambush shirt. Which is good, because it's very cute. But it has the wrong gear on it. And good morning, Arthur Goddess! Or Arthur? Arthur Goddess! <laughs> is it morning? Afternoon, evening, day, night. Hello. Sneakily stumbling in. We're all coming down from like the nano hangover. Or we're all nano hungover at the moment. That's a really nice scene at the beginning of the novel, no problems. We're shifting from then on to the MC. You might say, no. Morning. Aha! Excellent. I wasn't sure. Because it is like, it's midnight now. So, <laughs> I'm just like, what time is it? I'm confused. I don't know what day it is. Morning and I'm ashamed. Why are you ashamed? What are you ashamed of? Sorry. Your alarm didn't go off to you, Mr. Sheen, this morning. Oh, that's okay. It happens. Sometimes I, sometimes your body just tells you, nah. Just nah. <laughs> sometimes day off is good. <laughs> yeah, and we had we, we had it covered, luckily. So like it's totally fine. Sometimes sometimes people just can't stream, and that's okay. You didn't even know no so Mr. Lum. Oh, so it just didn't happen. Oof, yeah. I think I, I've had times where, like, I've set an alarm, and apparently I have sleep turned it off. Which is always fun. Because then I wake up, like, an hour later, like, oh shit. <laughs> I nearly slept through class once, before my mom was like, You're getting off? And I'm like, oh shit. <laughs> Luckily, online class, but still, I'm like, oh god. So at least it's like, Chill. <laughs> it just happened, you know? At least I, I'm less likely to sleep through a lot just because it's the end of the day. But still. <laughs> I have naps sometimes. Sometimes you just, just, sometimes you just nap. And the climb over your arms turned off. Ah, yeah, okay, so it's, it's less likely that you turned it off. Ah, well, sometimes you just... You forget to just flick the switch, push the button, or that, or I'm just up earlier than you were. <laughs> Who knows? The oh, I'll link that. Let me do that. The federal federal republic of the Madura. Having served in that. It's a repeat version of the same alarm that's been functioning for three weeks now. <laughs> oh no. It's just supposed to repeat. It's not supposed to change? No. <laughs> oh, the, <laughs> that'll be made it to your stream just to let, let you sleep. Just said, like, no. I've turned off the alarm. Sleep. <laughs> you spend a, a full month running it like full throttle and you're just like, no. Sleep. Sleep good. <laughs> and that's like four, two, three. In the yeah, exactly. That's what I'm saying. Maybe you turn it off so you could sleep. I can't spell the word precursor. Apparently, organization, the Madurin Liberty Alliance. He woke me up in a panic at 5 a.m. Oh god. Why do people from Wallonia go to Maastricht to shop? Now, based on my extremely poor understanding of Dutch geography... Um... Great question, Mikaro! <laughs> that is a great question! I don't want to... I don't want to make a guess as to where Wallonia or Maastricht are, but I don't think they're... They're not close. For one. Is Wallonia like south? Am I incorrect about that? So 
south. Just, <laughs> just squinting into the middle distance like, do I know anything about Dutch? No, I don't know anything about the Netherlands. It checks the map. Like, what the fuck are they? Where are they located? Don't know. The only reason I'm assuming they're south is because, like, Walloons sounds kind of French. It's not kind of French. I'm like, hey, it's France. But it's not France, but like, French. <laughs> Walloon. I don't know. <laughs> located in places. I mean, we've had stuff like, we had stuff like that in Victoria once. Like, some guy went from, like, Melbourne to... Uh, where'd he go? He went to like Bendigo or something to get a Macca's. And we're like, bro, bro, I respect you, but no. <laughs> you do not travel like 50 kilometers for a McDonald's. Okay, it's south, but Master 36 out so far is technically near Wallonia. Oh, only. Only 30 kilometers distance. That's a, that's a decent distance to travel to shop. <laughs> that feels like a lot. It feels like an amount. Like, I live, like, what? 3k from the local shops? Okay, that's a lie. I live, like, a kilometer and a half from the local shops. I live 3 kilometers from the shopping center, which is distinct. I'm, like, 10k from my uni. Maybe? I'm probably wrong about that. I'm just like, eh. <laughs> I live in a big city. I don't have to travel nowhere. I just live here. It's like, what, 30 kilometers to the CBD? I don't travel there. <laughs> I don't go to the CBD. <laughs> You're going to... Okay, if you live rurally, then yes, you'll travel a long way to shop. <laughs> ah, not for pie, yes. A hundred kilometers for some good pie. It's forty kilometers from your place from your place to your bro city. That's literally two cities. It's a ways. It's a ways. It's just weird. Sometimes people just travel, you know. Sometimes you just you feel the urge. You just gotta travel a distance. Okay. Like I went like I went like I want to say like ten kilometers to get a haircut once. And that's up a mountain. So that was, you know, a, a trip. It was like half an hour to get there. It should not be half an hour to get there, but it's just going all the way up the mountain. So I'm like, oh, okay. Oh, you only got my thoughts when you went to the 100k away because it wasn't in your hometown. <gasps> oh no. Goddamn. Your parents suggested that I take a two hour trip one way. To go to a thrift store because they have jeans for only 75 cents. Uh huh. Okay. <laughs> I mean, 18 hours to go to McDonald's once. You were pissed. I can imagine. That is a commit. God damn. Wow. They came to the Netherlands, and they, but only today. Ah, oh, okay. Right, because Belgium is. Because Wallonia is in Belgium. Okay, I thought it sounded familiar. Okay, so they went from Belgium to the Netherlands to shop because they just had to get that Mac, that Mickey D's. Now. They could not wait to buy their 75 cent jeans and their Mickey D's. They had to go to. They had to go to the Netherlands for it. God damn it. That's just silly. Wow. God. Here, we'll take care of your hairdressers in the same town I live in. Oh my god. Uh, you flew from the US to France and your high school decided to get lunch at McDonald's. Wow. No. Like, I kind of get it. I sympathize with, like, you, like, you get there and you want to have something that's familiar first and then you start branching out. Like, you, like, center yourself. It's like, okay. I know what I food I've eaten before. We can now explore. But also, no. <laughs> but also, eat. <laughs> eat the food. Eat the local food. Get that caveat. 
<laughs> you want some goddamn culture? Exactly. I get it. I understand. Like I, I, I kind of get it, but also no. <laughs> no. You get you get you wanna have the local culture. That's why you're there. You know? It's the whole point. I assume. I've only been to New Zealand and the the cuisine is fairly similar, so like I had like a stencil and a jazz bar once. That was pretty good. <laughs> it, made, it made sense to me. I don't think I had fast food when I was in New Zealand, actually. I'm pretty sure I only had actual food. I think so. I honestly don't remember. And then I came back from New Zealand, and in the airport, I inhaled an entire, like, Happy Meal. Because I hadn't eaten in, like, six hours. And then I had to eat it immediately because the taxi was there. And I was like, oh, shit. Eat a Happy Meal. Just eat it. So, you know, oops. And they, they complained that nearly that the pasta tasted like ketchup because it wasn't super seasoning. Hey. <laughs> you want to put it in seafood? Fair enough. Completely reasonable. Your point home is about 8.5 kilometers from your grandparents, western suburbs, west eastern suburbs. <sighs> I wish I was that close to the rest of my family. Well, do I? No, I probably do. Uh, I think it's like... I want to say it's like 30 or 40 to get to my grandma. And then it's like 50 or more to get to my like aunts. And then it's like 150 to get to my other grandparents. Not to speak of the rest of that side of the family who live in whoop whoop. I'm like, ah. It's a distance. And like, my nana and my aunts, we live in the same city. It's just a big city. <laughs> Like, we're just a big city. <laughs> Melbourne is quite large. Geographically spread. <laughs> like, we're not the most populous city, but we're pretty large. <sighs> I could have had shawarma. Ah, oh, devastating. Yeah. <laughs> eh, yeah. No, I, I understand. I, I understand you completely, Makara. I completely get you. My, um... At least two of my grandparents are pretty, uh... It's not great. Not great, people. They're doing alright, but then I don't talk to them. <laughs> we are not, uh, we're on speaking terms, but I don't, I don't talk to them. <laughs> I do not interact with them voluntarily. <laughs> I was like, eh, it's fine. We can only have one living on, one living uncle, because the rest is dead to us. Yeah. We. You know, grandpa's is an eight hour drive. Now you live close to your mom's mom, she can go to hell. <laughs> Oof. Damn. 100, 100 kilometers from your dad. Oof. Ugh, that, that sucks off the goddess. It's not great to not be on speaking terms with people. Like, I, I entirely expect that when... When slash if I move out, I'm not gonna be in contact with people very much. Some of them are good people. Some of my family are good people. I just don't have a particularly strong reason to talk to them. <laughs> and then there's the ones who aren't good people. For specific reasons. So I'm like, eh, no thanks. <laughs> no thanks. <laughs> I don't need to talk to you. <laughs> I don't need to reach out and, and chat. So I'm just like, it's fine. And so I've got my World Anvil family. Exactly. And like my friends who live around. So I'm just like, it's fine. Then they don't need it. You're late to have lived in the Hague, so 150 kilometers distance. And visiting him in his care home, a pain in the neck. Ooh, yeah. I think, I think it was like it was at least 50 to where my where, where my pa was in the care home. That was not a pleasant trip, for many reasons. But it was it was it was, you know, it's frustrating because like, if anyone in is in is in Melbourne, and understands some specific regional traffic things. When I say we had to go through Heidelberg, you'll know what I mean when I say the trip over sucked. Because there's like this one intersection in Heidelberg that is dog shit. It is just the worst intersection imaginable. Like it is just, oh, ugh. So you, have to, you can't go around it either. You basically have to take that intersection. It's trash. I'm pretty sure it's Heidelberg. It's not good. Take the bus, train, tram. Bus, bus, train, train, tram. 
who probably only visited during the weekend, and you'd work out for from our Hague office for half a day. Then visit him, make up for the last half of the day during the rest of the week. <sighs> Oof. That sounds tedious. Like, I mean, you get to visit, like, a, a family member who you care about, but it's like, ooh. The tedium of it. It's not great. If I wanted to public transport any of my relatives, it would take hours. If I wanted to visit my nana, it would take, like, two hours at least. And, I mean, it takes me two... It, if I want to visit a friend of mine, it's two hours. <laughs> and they're closer to me, geographically. And visit my dad. Oh, it wasn't because she cared. My sis did, and if we didn't go, she'd go every week. Ah, okay. I, I think I understand, yeah. I want to visit my dad more often, but it's four hours with train and bus to get to him. Damn. Public transport isn't great sometimes. In my city, it kind of sucks. Or at least where I live, it's not good. Out of suburbs. It sucks. <laughs> just, just, not, just not pleasant. It's two and a half hours to get to your parents-in-law, so your wife doesn't get to see him as much as she wants to. Yeah, no, I understand that. I totally get that. Like, my mom's side lives in Melbourne, so we get to see them decently frequently. I haven't seen them in a while, because, you know, lockdown, wasn't allowed to travel. But, um, you know, I see him, like, like four or five times a year. Um, I see my dad's family maybe once a year. Maybe. Because they largely live in Albury. And the ones that live down here are my dad's cousins, aka people that I don't know or really care about. So, I don't see them. I just don't go. I don't go to family Christmas. They're not holding it this year, because... No. Um, but like, ugh. <laughs> <laughs> you know? Eh. There's no cool way sitting here. It's fine. Yeah. Fortunately, catch a fire with a camper. Nice! Hell yeah. Ten minutes to see your, go go see your parents, you're lucky. You are. That, that, that's pretty good. I think the, the, the family I live the closest to is my brother. He's about 20 minutes up the road. He's not super far. My public transport is probably an hour, because again, out of suburbs. Well actually no, because I can get the bus to the station, the train up to Belgrave, and then I walk. But it's like 20-ish, half an hour to get to my bro by, by public transport. I don't see him often, because he lives on a shitty hill on a blind corner, and I'm like, no thanks. I don't want to get hit by a car today, buddy. <laughs> I love you. No, not doing it. It's like, yeah, hey, it's fine. But that's the closest. Everyone else is hour, hour or more away, and you have to go through the city to get to them. Or you go around, it's even longer. I'm like, oh, of course. And then again, there's the family in New South. It's a six-hour, well, it's a five-hour like car ride by public transport. That's like a day. <laughs> 10 minutes from your indoors. Nice. Very nice. It was not a person sitting here. <laughs> Oof. Articles. <laughs> this is the old way that my stream used to go, which is nothing happens. Ah, uh, yeah. Not since before the horse. Yeah. That sucks. Sometimes you're just not very close with your in-laws, I think. Sometimes it just doesn't happen. Like, my mom isn't super close to my dad's family overall. Like, I think the way... I remember the way that she, like, she talk about some of my dad's grandparents. Like, that whole extended, like, extended family that I've never met because they all died before I was born. And she'll say that there was basically only one section of the family that was actually, like, very friendly, very open, very like rustic hospitality kind of. And that was my grandma's maternal family, I believe, were very chill people. Everyone else just kind of stoic. Not very friendly. My cousins are very friendly though. So I, it, it is not gener it's not generational. <laughs> it just kind of happens. <laughs> my cousins are all very nice on that family. My grandparents suck, but my, gran my cousins are, are cool as hell. I think. I haven't checked. I don't know their politics. <laughs> uh, uh, I don't want to know. <laughs> you supposed to see an aunt and an uncle that you really see them. Don't know why, because you, you get on fine. Sometimes like, you get on well with people, but you're just like, eh, I don't really need to see you all the time. Just kind of, eh, yeah, you go, you, ha you hang around, you know? 
Oh boy, the new COVID numbers. Oh, delightful. I bet they're excellent. I hope they're good, but I, I bet they aren't. <laughs> Ah, uh, used to be close to them until you came out, and then you stopped eating for a while when <laughs> you learned of it. Uh, yeah. Yeah, sometimes that, that'll, that'll do it. Which, you know, that's why I'm like, when I eventually move out, I probably won't talk to my family, just because I don't think that'll go down. <laughs> not with some of them, certainly not. I'm like, Ugh. oops, <laughs> oopsie daisies. But that's exactly what, like, the internet and my friends that I've made through, like, uni and the internet are for. Is that, you know, I've got, I've got all y'all to, you know, hang with and not have an issue. As opposed to having to deal with, you know, bullshit. Which is nice. That's why I like streaming, because it's like, hey, it's good. It's great. <laughs> it's chill. Positive percentage from 12% to 11% compared to previous week. That is good. Those stagnating. Yeah, you want it to just, like, go down noticeably. But, like, 1% it's decent. If we can go down to 10% next week, that would be nice. <laughs> but, uh, eh, eh, maybe. Who knows? <laughs> Here's an article. Oof. Yeah, dude. Work for the dice back with the game. There we go. 386. Ooh. Ooh, that's not great. No. 2,300 new cases and 46 deaths. Damn. No, that's not great. That is not good. Really sucks. In some some places it just this is not it's not great. <laughs> it's not doing great. It's not, it's not, it's not fun. Like, like in, in Victoria, we've managed to kind of get rid of it. For now, it'll be back. We, we know it'll be back. Uh, it's basically impossible to keep it out forever, but it'll be back eventually. Um, South Australia is not having a good time, mostly because they don't know what they're doing. Because they haven't had it for ages. Like, South Australia's basically been chill. They've just been kind of keeping the course for basically, like, five months. And now things are not going great because they don't know what they're doing. Like, I just, what, are, what is happening? No one understands what's going on there. I don't. Something about pizza? But, <laughs> it's, it's kind of a mystery and it's, it's not great. Oh yeah, and still number one. Woo! <laughs> oh god. Poor America. Really sucks. It's just, it's just not great. Coronavirus sucks, and I don't like it. It's just, it's just not great. <laughs> not a fan, personally. <laughs> if only that would make it go away. It'd be like, I don't like you. Just be but uh. Oh well. Oh well. Yeah. Oh, in Texas. Oh no. Ooh. Whoopsie daisies. Whoops. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. The entire restricted two weeks lockdown, the R rate was estimated to be above one. Then from lockdown right, light to lockdown medium, people actually got sick more. Well, there is the two-week delay. There is that two-week delay. Well, like, approximately two-week lag between you've caught the case and now you're actually, like, have registered as a case. So the assumption is that the first two weeks of a change in lockdown will be shit. And then it's week three that's the big one. Week three is when you figure out if you've gotten good or not. If the R, if the reproduction value, I think that's what the R is, if R does not go down in week three, that's a sign that shit's not going well, <laughs> I think, is how that generally works. Generally, it, it varies. But it's like week three-ish, week four is when you're like, is this working, yes or no? Oh, oh no. Oh, that's not good. Ugh. 
Oops. That's not great. <laughs> uh, I enter as a dragon, so if I go offline, it's the dragon, not me. <laughs> well, hi, James. I'm sorry your internet's being just buck wild. I think my internet is currently... Because we, we're redoing the floors, right? Including in the study. We had to take the router, put it in the kitchen, and tape the the telephone like funky cord that does the internet to the door frame so that it wouldn't fall off because you wanted internet <laughs> so if we hadn't done that i would not be able to stream which is not great so luckily we did that <laughs> we have internet here for now assuming that the guys don't like elbow it while laying floorboards oops Ooh, yikes Ugh. That's not a great case number from that. That is a big number. Yes, so your R8 was over one during the entire heavier measures. People are asses. Yeah, it's not great. That sucks. Because you want to hope that when you put down the, the strictness, people actually, like, like retract. But... Uh... Yeah, there is a degree of that, where like, if someone has the case and now they're stuck at home with their family, they'll give it to most of their family, kind of thing. But, it, 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 it's, it's, it's finicky. I'm no scientist, I can't say anything. Oh uh, yeah, and you need a... You need a full lockdown, so that they'll do it. You want them to buy the, the bullet before Christmas? But I, like... That's part of the issue is there are countries like, like the UK, last day tomorrow of your lockdown, which makes no sense. I'm sorry. You should not be, you should not be doing that. That lockdown should not be stopping in the UK, in my, in my humble exterior opinion of I was in lockdown for three months kind of thing. Like the UK should not be coming out of lockdown two, like three weeks before Christmas because Christmas will go not good if you don't <laughs> so like like delaying until after christmas nah that's not smart like i think christmas is still on it in my family or my mother's family because uh victoria has zero cases and we have a aunt with a large house which will enable us to distance a little bit like, you know, just, like, a, a degree of, lim like, we can go in different rooms, so we can kind of spread out, which is nice. And I'll have a mask on for pretty much the entire time, because, ha, 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 I love you, but I'm not dying over a casserole. Um, <laughs> so, like, I think we have Christmas on this year. I assume I'll be there. I kind of have to be. So I'm like, okay, mask on. <laughs> yeah, airflow and proximity. Yeah. And just not just for the whole fam, because you're not... Exactly. Yeah. Yeah, delay until after New Year's. Exactly. You delay until after New Year's, ideally. But, uh, eh. Come has death rate of... Ugh, a lot. Well, let's see. 0.25 is still quite a lot of people. A lot of people. <laughs> yeah, your wife goes to the supermarket and has to train there. Yeah, true. That's the thing, is that we, my dad works from home, my mom doesn't have a job, I'm here. Like, I, we don't have a lot of contact, aside from like supermarket, so we're mostly good. And yeah, how am I gonna eat through a mask? I will take the mask off to eat, but the idea is that I would take, I would fill up my plate, and I would walk away. <laughs> and I would find a quiet spot, take off my mask, eat my food, once I'm done, put the mask back on. That's the kind of vibe that I'll be working with on Christmas, I think. I'll find my cutest mask. And it'll be great. <laughs> Just because my Nana will be there, and she's she's elderly, so I'm like, no, I'm not getting COVID to my Nana. Yeah, second death rate too. Secondary death rate, yeah. All the, the things you get, the damage that gets done. It's just not great. All like the heart damage, the lung damage, the nerve damage, the... Eh. The whole thing. And the place is 60%, which can secondary causes, yeah. Oof. You work in a cafe, thank goodness you have to mask at work, etc. All customers. Hell yeah. And yeah, like, even, even if the... 
like actual death rate of the current moment is lower, there is the like the element of there are more people in quite close proximity in the areas. So there are a lot of people, possibly more people than caught it like at, by the end of all this than will have caught it in the the big the big piss up in the six hundreds. And like it's still like every person who dies is a person who mattered and who should not have died in a lot of cases because like a lot of them were preventable, especially in cases where it's kind of going quite badly. Most of those cases sh should not have happened. Like I mean, yeah, none of them should have happened, of course. But if you accept the like minimum amount of like yeah, this was always going to happen, like the first like couple of people in each country after it got out of China, if you accept those as quote-unquote necessary, the rest should not have happened after that point. After it entered the country and you have the first, like, couple of thousand to get it, there should not be more people getting it after that point, <laughs> because the, the, the government should be acting. So I was like, eh, eh, <laughs> it's all bad. <laughs> Anyone has harsh options? Father-in-law has surgery for his heart the other week. Yeah, risk cases. We. My dad has heart condition and my mom's overweight, so we're not great. <laughs> we're not great. I'm probably fine, but I am also small. So, um, tiny lungs, you know? Ah, uh, yeah, the slice of toast for my stream points. I keep forgetting to do that. I just straight up keep forgetting to actually make one. I'll, I'll, I'll... I'll try and do that before Saturday. I'll try and make some toast. Take, make a slice of toast for my stream points. Uh. Mm, yeah. Mm, I think it should still be in lockdown, but it. Uh, no, I do think it should still be in lockdown. Uh, <laughs> Eh. <laughs> uh, you know. Like. Eh. 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 It's complicated. I'm not a scientist. <laughs> Cannot trust enough. My sole point of, like, quote unquote authority is having lived in Melbourne during three months of harsh lockdown in which we couldn't travel more than five kilometers from our home for most of that time, and masks are still mostly mandatory. You have to wear them indoors and when you cannot distance, but you don't have to wear it like walking on your own in the street, which is neat. So I have it on my wrist the whole time. And I'm like, yeah, I think that, you know, if there are still a quite large amount of cases, you just shouldn't have it. <laughs> ah, yes, shower on YouTube time. Hell yeah. Yay. I mean, we did- I think we did pretty well, ignoring the fact that we did not do great at the start. Uh, once we actually locked it down, things went okay. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, 1.5 million deaths, it's just- it's not great. It's not great. It's just- it's just not good. None of the- most- the, these- like, 99% of those should never have happened. The 1% is for the kind, again, like the necessary slash unavoidable ones where it's like, we didn't know what was happening, so yeah, uh, it kind of happens. But like, after that point, <laughs> after like the first couple people die, that's when you go, no. <laughs> and that's when things happen. <laughs> Good things, you hope. So everyone after that is just, no, nah, shouldn't have happened. Shouldn't, none of it should have happened. But, <laughs> Yeah, we have had, we have been double donut for quite a while, which is no new cases and no cases of community transmission, but no, no, no cases and no deaths. That's a double donut. Um, the one donut is no deaths. The second donut is no cases. The third donut was no active cases. So we've been double donut for a, almost a month now, and we've been triple donut for a couple of weeks. I think two weeks, maybe a week. After the, like, the last person who had it that we think had it recovered. So we did pretty good. Uh-oh. Oh no. Things are happening. Oh no. 
Oh no, maybe we should change the topic. <laughs> maybe we should spend the last 10 minutes of the stream not talking about the coronavirus. <laughs> I'm just spending like an hour doing it. Maybe we should spend the last 10 minutes not. <laughs> Sorry. This is, we had like a week, like a month break from just chatting the shit. <laughs> We've forgotten. We've forgotten that. We just, boom, right back at it. This is the shit that happens. <laughs> uh, you know, I've been for the most part six months. Yeah. How much of a masochist am I? 25k worth of masochism. <laughs> In addition to the 65 from World Emperor, uh, from NaNoWriMo, sorry. So, all in all, from the last two months, the goal... No, from the from last month and this month, the goal is... 90,000 words. And that's not counting that I'm still adding words to the nano novel each day to try and keep the momentum going. So I might end up with like 92,000 or something. Uh, more than that. I might end up with 100,000 words over the course of this time. We'll see. We will We will see. Because I only have to write 10k more for the nano novel to reach that. So uh, I think I'll get there. So I reckon I will have 100,000 words over... Uh, November, December. And then in January, hard drop. Hard drop. I always do. Until the uh, first challenge comes out. And then I will return. I will rise from the salad bar. I don't have a good pun for toast. I will rise from the toaster reborn anew. And I will join the challenge in January. <laughs> I'm just like, I'm here. I'm back. <laughs> Hmm. Before the numbers still grow. Yeah. Ugh. Yeah, please, please don't, like, aggressively whisper. My chat is chill. <laughs> My chat is supposed to be chill. It can be serious, but it's supposed to be fairly chill. And yeah, my, my world's made up as I go along. And, like, if you look at my world and get remotely intimidated, which I don't know how the hell that happens, but hey, you know, if you're remotely intimidated, I've been working on this since, I want to say, August 2018. This world has a lot of work behind it. It has 150,000 words so far. 150,000 words? I have the thing. I can look it up. How many words do I have? Let's just... How many words have I written for this world overall? I've written at least... At least 75k because of, um... Summer Cup 2019. World Ember 20... Oh, hold on, I've written about 100k at least for challenges. I've written... Yeah, 150,000. So... <laughs> oof. So, 100,000 of those are challenges. Specifically, World Ember 2018, World Ember 2019, and then Summer Camp 2019 and Summer Camp 2020. Which I wrote 25k for each of those. Somehow. And then... The other 50k is mostly other challenges and a couple of core articles that I had to write for reasons. Um, so I've written 100,000 words over the course of nearly three years. It's just like three years. <laughs> it just happens. <laughs> I'm like, hey, it's fine. <laughs> words. And this is like the first world that I've had that I've stuck with for like this long straight. Like normally I will have like... I'll, I'll be in a world for like a couple of months and then I'll disappear and then I will return five years later and completely redo it. So this has been a long, slower burn. Now that said, I did double the size, I, I more like quadrupled the size of the setting in like June of 2018. <laughs> no, hold on. No, I, I doubled the size of the setting in like July 2019 because I introduced a concept and then that led to an entire new continent with 40 goddamn countries. And I'm just like, why did I do this? <laughs> no. And so, oops. Big whoops. Links are allowed. But, you know, be reasonable. <laughs> the art is the, the big thing for my world, because I'm supposed to be an artist. So I'm like, hey. Art. <laughs> but only for like a handful of articles. Most of them don't have art. 
because I'm very lazy. Like, I have this for a challenge. I wrote, I, I, I drew Elyon's portrait for a challenge a while back. And I was like, oh yeah, I still have it. Boom. And so that's why she's here. I did not draw this specifically for this article. I just had it. And it's quite old. That's a decently old art, uh, art actually. I can find out when I drew it. Hold on. <laughs> Let's touch again to 2019 Digital. She's in here somewhere. The 27th of October, apparently. Really? Wow. Okay. <laughs> well, okay, like in... No, 27th, yeah? Wow. Then in one day? Wow. That's good shit. <laughs> you only have... Yeah, you only have 90,000 words. But then you have 100,000 words of manuscript. <laughs> so, I mean, hey. Can you come names your community you count with some cards? Oh, sweet. Sweets? Sweets. The cool. Card suits. Yes. But that's cool, though. It is a theme. I don't have themes. The eighth grade, eighth grade book reports or something. I don't know about the themes. This didn't have a core concept. I had a story. I didn't even write the story. <laughs> That's the funniest thing about Nano, is that I wrote the story for 425, which was Descent. That was the Nano novel, was uh, 425, The Descent. And 425 is a sequel to 414. 414 has not been written? <laughs> I, I did not do that. I was not clever about that. I did not write the the, the, the the starting novel that started the entire world. I, I wrote its sequel. I'm like, okay. <laughs> okay. Sure. <laughs> but it was more fun, I think. So I'm like, hey, it's great. Uh. What is... And his wife. And was raised without much incidents. In the north east of the yeah two two hundred thousand in manuscript that's too many. I spelt it Bosti. I can't actually type right now. What happened? I think seven a.m. brain's taken over. It's only one a.m. But like the 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 the, the reach around from like waking up being awake at seven a.m. has reached back around and just like hit me in the head. Like, what are words? <laughs> I've forgotten how to type. I spent all of nano typing. I've forgotten how to type. <laughs> and I only have five minutes anyway because we'll be raiding Bob when Bob goes up. Make me hungry too. It's 1 a.m. I can't eat food. I can't eat food. I'm lying. I can eat food. I will probably eat once the stream stops. <laughs> We're not clever. We're not. We didn't plan this out well, did we? <laughs> oh wait. Should I eat at 1 a.m. Because I'm gonna be awake at 7 a.m. tomorrow, aren't I? Again, because of construction. Shit. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> God damn it. I might. I might just do it. <laughs> it's a snack, who cares? Yeah, your largest article is 1,000. I mean, 1,000 is a good size for an article, though. Like, there are people, again, like me, I have an article that's 4,800 words long. And that is objectively kind of too long. Now, that article I can let slide for being too long because it's a document article and half of that word count is the document? itself, like I actually wrote the document, or parts of the document, but still. <laughs> still. You know, like, it's a, it's a bit long. Like, I think 2k is kind of the limit of, like, being very readable. You can obviously get around with it, like, formatting, you can get a bit higher, but 
you know, 2K, 3K is kind of like the upper limit of this article is readable and like pleasant to read in terms of length. Yeah, 8 a.m. your time is the final battle stream. Oh, is it? Wait, what? Hold on, what? What final battle stream? Is that Sable's stream? Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Going to be the countess. It need to succeed. Hold on. Her father as the countess. And he was taught much about politics and economics. Okay, economies? Economics. Okay, I've written a sentence now. Corpse? Corp. Where, uh, 8 a.m.? Hold on, when, where am I? Um, oh no. Oh, it's at 8 in the morning. Wait, is that 8 in the morning? That's 8 in the morning. Uh. That's a two hour stream? Okay, well, okay, that's a three hour stream? Holy shit. I'm glad she didn't ask me to come in person. <laughs> that said, okay. If I am not physically present, if I am not in the chat, I am still present in the form of two videos. I recorded two videos for the final countdown, I think. Two? Did I record two? I recorded multiple videos, didn't I? Where are, my vid where are the videos gone? I won't show them here because they're like, spoilers. But I, yeah, so I'm, I'm, I'm physical, I am present in video form at this stream. <laughs> I will be there. Possibly three? Like three hours or three videos? Because are we showing the old one again? <laughs> oh god, that's the worst one. <laughs> that's the worst of the three that I did. <laughs> I mean, I mean, none, none of them are great, but like that's how there. Three, okay, so you're showing. Okay, so she's showing the report that we did. The report that I did the news report for, she's showing the uh, cameo, and she's showing the other one. I'm keeping it vague so that the, the, I'm not spoiling the audience, but I'm present for those three. That's not three videos. There's a second vi there's another video. So the, uh, the, those three sections, that's- I'm counting that as one video. Because I filmed it in, like, one go. I filmed it in like half an hour, like at, at once, and I sent her a single video with those three bits. There's a second video that I'm part of. <laughs> There's a second video that I'm present for. Which I'm assuming will be shown. No, I do not know who won. I do not know who won. She did not tell me. She sent me the script for the video that I recorded for her. Uh, it does not mention who won. It mentions that the Molluscans, you know, like, fought hard, etc. Standard shit. And I mentioned a couple other houses in my section. Um, but... Oh, no. Sorry. You don't get to say that. You don't get to say that. Uh, no, so it is, it is not actually mentioned, because the video that I recorded is a... final... thing. Yes, only Sable knows. And Aaron. Sable and Aaron are the only people who know so far, I believe. I assume only they know, which is terrifying. <laughs> anyway, it's 1am, which means... Which means, the stream's actually over, and I, I made it the whole way. Hell yeah. Yeah. Well, I'll try... If I'm still conscious at 8am... If I'm still conscious at 8 in the morning, I might drop it. But I make no promises, I will be there in the form of two videos. Or technically four, if you count those three sections as separate videos. So I will be there. Just maybe not in the chat live at the moment, because I will be just dead. It's, I mean, come on. But anyway, we are going to raid RPG Dinosaur Bob, because it is 1am, which means it's time for my stream to end, and for me to eat my midnight snacks and then pass out. And like, you know, etc. So thank you all for coming. Uh, we didn't do a lot of world building. <laughs> Because I did most of that in the first hour when no one was here. I mean, people were here, obviously, but, like, less people. So it was, like, just me just figuring out shit. 
But then we kind of chilled out and, well, I guess I chilled. We chatted for an hour, as we, as we, as is the old custom, the old custom for my stream. But yes, so thank you all for coming. Hope you all had a good time, I suppose. Is, is it good? I don't know. We will be raiding RPG Dinosaur Bob, who streams after me on both on on Tuesdays, which is great. It's technically Wednesday. Shh. Don't mention it. Don't bring up the fact that it's Wednesday. <laughs> okay, we have a raid call. Our raid call is, as always, get ready. You can use channel points to gain the toast, the flaming toast, so you can throw it around, or you can just use regular toast emojis like emoticons. It's cool. It's the good shit. Yeah, it's Tuesday everywhere else. It's Wednesday here. <laughs> it's technically Tuesday. I promise. It's the 25th hour of Tuesday. But yes, so I hope you all had a lovely time and that you all have lovely days going forward. Whether that day is, you know, doing World Ember or doing nano editing or just chilling out. Chilling out's cool. And I hope that it's all excellent for you all as it was for me. Because today was pretty good. And it was nice to spend time with you all. So I will see you all around in other people's chats and maybe on Saturday as well. We'll see. Bye-bye! Right now. There we go.